Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you, so you can be the blessing to the people the Lord has put in your life today. So this week, I got news that one of my absolute favorite people um, who attends a Bible study that I teach along with a lot of other ladies um, actually got to meet the Lord face to face. And then the process of just missing her and thinking about my interactions with her i was reminded of um when she (laughs) when she first told me that she liked me as a bible study teacher (laughs) um and it wasn't because i told funny stories she said and it wasn't because um i brought really good quotes from my reading um to bear on (laughs) on this group of women um but it was because i prayed for her I had um, I had opened a Bible study pretty early on in the season, and pretty early on in her attendance, and had told everybody that I was up. I woke up, and I feel like it was the Lord waking me up at like 3 a.m. in the morning, and I just started going around the room, seeing the faces of people, kind of where they oh, you know, everybody always sits in the same spot, and I was just praying for each one of these women that the Lord would work in their life and meet them where they were. And um, she was just so struck by the fact that um, somebody was praying for her. And I was just thinking about how, I mean, there are books on prayer, there are treatises on prayer. I mean, there is a ton of literature out there on prayer. This is two minutes on prayer. Um, But the act of me praying for her so, um, so impacted her. Uh, that she wanted to come back to this study. But um, I was thinking about how when we enter into somebody else's life by praying for them, um, we get to experience the heart of God and it connects us with the Lord and it connects us with the other person in such a lovely and meaningful way that actually has eternal value. I was reminded of this Sunday that any time spent in prayer is not wasted. It has eternal value. And I think it's probably why Paul in a lot of his letters <laughs> says, I'm constantly praying for you because um, he wants to remind people that um, he loves them that much and that he wants them to bring, he wants to bring them and their needs before the Lord. And that's how important it is. So I'll leave you with this introductory verse, Ephesians 1.16. I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. So today, this morning, I'm praying for anybody who listens to this. I'm praying that um, the Lord would meet you right where you're at and um, that you would feel his love um, and his guidance as you submit to him. As you go out or stay in today and be the blessing. Till next time, Katie.